Well, this afternoon, we are learning more about the death of famed DJ Stephen Twitch Boss. TMZ is reporting that his wife knew something was wrong on Tuesday morning because she told police that Twitch left home without warning and stopped answering her calls and text messages. He was later found in a hotel with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. And as Fox 26's Rashi Vots reports, his suicide has many people focusing on the important of, importance of mental health and the warning signs to look out for. Dancer, producer, and actor Stephen Twitch Boss has died at the age of 40. His wife, Allison Holker, confirming this news in a statement saying, Stephen lit up every room he stepped into. He valued family, friends, and community above all else, and leading with love and light was everything to him. He was the backbone of our family, the best husband and father, and an inspiration to his fans. Ending with a message to her husband, Stephen, we love you, we miss you, and I will always save the last dance for you. <laughs> Twitch rose to fame in 2008 as a runner-up on Fox's So You Think You Can Dance. He joined the Ellen DeGeneres show as a DJ in 2014 and later became an executive producer on the show. Ellen reacting to the tragedy, saying Twitch was pure love and light. He was my family, and I loved him with all my heart. I will miss him. Twitch also appeared in films including Step Up, All In, and Magic Mike. In 2020, he returned to So You Think You Can Dance as a judge, bringing his expertise and positive encouragement. The show's producers released a statement saying, in part, we will always remember Stephen Twitch Boss for the light and joy he brought into our lives and into the hearts of so many. Stephen Twitch Boss is survived by his wife and three children. Twitch had just celebrated his nine-year anniversary with his wife over the weekend. They posted many videos of them dancing and hanging out with their kids. A mental health expert says that access to care and pressure from social media is really a growing concern. A recent study also found that black men had the highest increase in suicide attempts compared to any other group. It's not a weakness to say that you need help. There's help available from persons that look like you, that know what you've been through. And that's a new and ongoing uh, area that we need to address in increasing the diversity in our mental health workforce. Yeah, a very important message there. Now, if you or a loved one is struggling with thoughts of suicide, there is help available. The National Suicide Hotline is there. All you need to do is dial 988.